Picking your brand colors. This tends to be a fun part for a lot of people and other people get so overwhelmed and stressed. You can use brand colors or just picking colors for your room or whatever you want. Just a color kind of scheme can be stressful or it can be easy. Now here's what you don't do. You don't just pick colors that you absolutely love, throw them together and say, those are my brand colors. What you want to do is find colors that actually complement each other in some type of way. So there's a super duper easy app called Coolers, coolers.co that I'm gonna take you through. And I love it because you can get inspired by images, which I do all the time for my clients. I have them select images and we pull colors from that for their brand colors, or you can start from scratch or you can look at, there's just all kinds of things in there. So as always, this is going to be an extremely detailed um, tutorial on how to use this app. If you are an Nancy Nancy and you hate sitting through long videos, there will be a table of contents slash agenda um, down below that's going to tell you everything that we're going through and you can hop directly to what you need. But I suggest you go through the whole video because I am going to give you tips and tricks throughout the video on branding and color schemes and things like that. And before I forget, if you haven't checked out brandmarketingsquad.com, that is my membership. It started in September, 2021, just right now, right? And it's all about how to create a brand, branding yourself as a business, branding yourself if you have a nine to five, creating content online, using video marketing, starting your YouTube channel, automating your business. It's really a membership for those who want to build an online business. We have a once a month Q&A and it's gonna be amazing for you. So check that out, brandmarketingsquad.com. Anyways, on to the lesson, let's go. Okay, this is Coolers, super cool. It is absolutely free. So you will see some advertisements pop up from here and in there on the corners, but you'll be fine. I'm gonna go over the navigation, then we're gonna go through step-by-step step how I believe the best way to get the most out of this app is when you're trying to find your color schemes for your website or your brand. Now, let me just point out really quick that you can use this either on this website, absolutely free, on your apps on iOS, install it and enter it into Adobe, or even add it to your Chrome extension. And they do have an Instagram that you can follow if you want to. But here's how we're gonna start. At the top is how you generate your own color palettes and you can explore different color palettes. And there's a lot of additional options that you have. But if you don't know where to start and you kind of just know kind of maybe a color or you wanna explore what's trending nowadays, I'm just gonna click on explore trending palettes. Even if you do have an idea, this just gives you a long list of things that have already been generated. Now, what I would do is at the top, I would put in anything that makes, you know, you feel like this is what belongs to you or what you want. So if you want pink, you can select pink or you can even type in magenta or things like that. And it will show you things in that space, right? Now, if you like something, you could simply click on the three dots. Always look for the three dots on this app. There's always something extra in there. And so I can save this color palette and I can name it. And so I can just say pink. And for me, I always have something that lets me know I absolutely love this or no. So I might say in my tags, maybe, right? Or bold. So you will be able to look at the tags you can also go over and see what the colors are. So if you just like one of the colors, you could simply copy the hex number. This is where you would put in applications for designing like Canva or Adobe or whatever. There are options for other color types. We'll talk about that later. You can also increase the amount of color. So it gives you other colors in this spectrum, but I would actually use the generator for that. If you have a project, so I already have a project here, but if you have a project, you can add it to a current project. So if you do designs for other people, so this can be client ABC, right? You can create a client for that. I mean, a project for that, you can add it to multiple projects. And there's also collections. If you wanna do different collections, blue, bright, bold, whatever, however you wanna organize it. 
but you can also just simply create a name and click on save, right? So that's great. We've already started coming up with ideas, but here's the thing. Maybe I don't want it to be pink. Maybe I'm looking for, and I haven't tried this, let's say earthy. Okay, so I'm looking for the word earthy and it gives me the browns and the greens and things like that. Same thing, you can save it, look through it, filter it, whatever. So let's say we like blues and yellow. Remember, you can always turn off the filters up there. So I have blues and yellows. So I'm gonna go ahead, instead of saving this, I don't necessarily like this color palette, but I like maybe the blue and the yellow in it, right? So I'm gonna open it in our generator. Notice that's also the button up there. So I can open it in my generator or I can simply export it right now. But what I would do, let's actually customize it to what we like. This is giving us a starting point for where we are. And as I said, there's gonna be some pop-ups. So I'm just gonna hide those. Okay, so now we're in the generator. Again, we could have clicked on the button in the top right. And maybe I like this color and this color. Notice what I did is I locked the colors. That means as I go through and select additional colors, I can just, these two are gonna stay in place. Now, if I want, let's say this has five colors, maybe I want six colors. So it added a color that matches or even seven. I can go in and say, okay, I don't like this one at all, right? I can view the different shades of this color Right, so I can see maybe there's another color in there. Nope, don't like that. I can also say this is a favorite color. Maybe I don't even need to use this in this palette, but I really like this color. So I'm gonna favorite this color and I'm gonna give it a name. For me, it's gonna be called, let's call it Jay-Z Blue. And that's my color, just saving it to my favorite, okay? And so the real color, by the way, is down here, Yale Blue. I can move it. So maybe I wanna see how it looks next to this yellow. And the one I locked, I wanna see how it looks next to this. Eh, it's a little too dark. So I'm gonna unlock that and lock this one. So as you can see, you're actually moving through and kind of customizing your, your board. Now, now that I know that I like these two colors and I want six colors, I'm gonna press the space bar and it's gonna generate different color schemes that match these two colors. Now, maybe this is going in a different direction. It's just not what you want at all. There's different types of color schemes that are different methods of generating color schemes, whether they're monochromatic, meaning the same color. So if I choose monochromatic and choose the space bar, it's gonna stay within the blues, right? Or the yellows. So I'm gonna just keep on doing space bar and it's gonna stay with those two colors. And there's a lot of different methods that are used um, by designers to generate color palettes. So even if you don't know the difference, you can come up here, select a method, and then just keep on pressing the space bar to generate different colors. Now maybe you find a color that you like. I'm gonna click on this. So now I have three locked in. Now it's gonna base the colors that are generated on the three that I've locked in. Okay, now again, you wanna be careful because the more you kind of lock individual ones and have it generated, it really kind of takes away from the color scheme. So I would try to stick with one or two that you're locking and then maybe go from there. But you know, again, you can break the rules if you like. Now, once you have what you like, let's say this is, and this is not, so let's close this. Let's say this is my perfect color scheme. You can copy each individual hex number if you want and put it on a notepad, which I do a lot. But what's great, remember I told you those three magic buttons, they give you a lot more details as when you're viewing them. So I just wanna see real quick, I can see how this looks as a gradient and notice I can download this as an image, okay? Now, if I go over to the right-hand side, I also have an export button. What I love about this, and actually before e exporting this, I would save it. Remember, we don't have this color palette saved, so let's gonna say um, client ABC color palette, whatever. And again, colors, you can look at each individual color, 
your projects and your collections if you need to save them there. But now I want to actually export. Now here's where all the magic comes in. If you just want to image, you can export it there. Um, these are for if you want to put it on a website, CSS, again, designing a website, embedding it somewhere, putting it on the website. But what you're going to use most likely is going to be a PDF. So let's going to say my perfect color palette. You can add any information. So this can be client name and my website, whatever you want. This is a good time to remind you to like, subscribe. If this is good information, please like this. Please share this. Please subscribe. Ring the bell. You guys know what to do. Leave me a comment that all lets the algorithm know that, hey, we like this and more people should see it. Thank you. Okay. So here on your labels, here's what I love too. So each of these have their own names, but I'm not going to remember like pine tree and all of that kind of stuff. So maybe to me, this is black right? And maybe to me, this is yellow. This might be navy blue. It doesn't matter. Maybe you're calling them something, you know, more flirtatious, like flirty, I don't know, bluish, you know, whatever. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. This is earthy. Spaces. So here's where I absolutely love this. When you're designing in Canva, pick monkey and Adobe and those, you can use Hex. Now, Adobe, you can use a lot of things. When you're using things like Word, Microsoft products, PowerPoints, you're going to have a RGB, right? Numbers. And then like when you're printing, usually, usually it's CMYK. So each of these are numbers used to identify the colors when you're working with designers or you're working on your own. And then there's other ones you can add if you'd like, but these are the standard at the top. I would keep at least these four checked because you'll always have it. And then pages, you can decide if you want the colors, the shades, the temperatures, the hues, saturation, how would it look if you're colorblind, gradients. So I'm gonna leave all of those and then add the gradient. So what this is gonna do is generate a PDF with all of the information needed to use your colors to design. Now, before you go anywhere, there's another way that we can generate colors. So as we're going over this, keep in mind that that was just when you have colors in mind. The next step is actually going to generate colors from an image. So don't, you know, press next yet. Anyways, so here's our color palette, right? You see our hex, AG, RGB, just perfect. Our name and our description, and then all of the other items that we wanted to include. Again, you don't have to include these. I would suggest at least doing these on the first page and then you could print it or save it or whatever you need all right so let's go back now what i want to show you we have our color palette this is a different way of generating a color palette sometimes you have an image in mind in fact you can search the internet you can actually explore do a search using their search which is great there's trending colors but you can also search from photos. So pick palette from photo. Okay. So if you already have a photo, you can browse your computer. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to click on generate because this is just the easiest way for me to work in this space. This is the space where we were before. And what we're going to do this time is create palette from photo, same image. So I'm going to go to my website, create by socially Nina. This is where I sell, um, just different graphics. And I'm just going to pull up Falls Coming. And I just want to show you. So this is not meant to show you how to steal stuff, right? From the internet, anything you search on Google, all of those are not your images. So you can't use them, but you can use them to generate a color scheme. So for me, if you right click, you can actually save an image. So I can save it on my desktop or I can right click and just copy the image address. That is the URL. So I'm going to grab this and go back. And so when it says create palette from photo, I could either upload a photo I already have or go to a URL. So I'm just going to paste it there. You can also use a camera, take a picture of yourself or search within their items. So I'm just going to click on OK. And we're off. So it's starting with the color palette behind there and then kind of trying to incorporate these colors. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little bar and what it's doing is moving this little item 
all around the screen to see what colors it picks up in this color scheme. So you have a lot of options or see where this dot is. So say I don't want, so these are both yellow, right? Say I wanna try to see what color in here matches. So you can individually pick out colors that you want as well, but it's so much funner if you do this, okay? You can also add additional colors. So if you want a million colors or just a few colors, right? So I love this because this is what I suggest from my clients. You can do this on Google as well. You go to Google and you can search for pictures like old flowers or, you know, depending on whatever, whatever your brand is about, I would use those key terms. By the way, if you are in brand marketing squad, this would be an exercise that we do. We figure out what terms, where, what kind of colors, what type of color scheme, where you should be looking you know, what would fit best with your brand. So you're not starting from scratch. Check out brandmarketingsquad.com for details. But anyways, I didn't mean to stop that. I'm gonna go here. The next thing that you're gonna do is once you have the color scheme that you want, which is not gonna be this one, you can click on next. I'm always going to open it in a generator. It just gives me a better layout. I'm gonna hide all of the advertisements for now. And again, you can go through the process and lock in things. As you notice, all of these are different, but the this one right here is the same color, so I can keep on doing it, and it looks like I probably want to go back to a monochromatic and have something that matches with these. And then I can save it, you know, export it, all of those kind of things. What I love is that since you pulled it from the image, you can create a collage that has your image as well as your brand colors, right? There's different ways to do this depending on wherever you pull the picture, but this is just a great way to display your colors. You know, it gives you different ways to do it. And you have different sizes, so you can actually decide on how you're going to do it. And again, you can change the palette and how many colors are in here and export it just like we did before. Now. This is great because whether you know what colors to start with, you can click on generate and just start with your colors here and press the space bar or upload a photo. And then you have ways to export it, to save it. And then also on your right hand side, you can go back to any of the items in your library. So we have our different projects, right? You can look by colors, you could look like by pastels, but it gives you a way to organize as you're trying to find your color palette. All right, if you're going to use this color palette, please find me on Instagram at socialinia.com and let me know what colors that you chose. You can inbox me, but just let me know that you found my video. I would love to hear from you and let me know what you think about coolers. All right, have a great day.